Dr. Rao, did you hear the death of actor Shushant Rajput? Yes, uh, I did hear about the uh, death of uh, uh, Sushant Rajput and uh, it's very unfortunate. Sir, what are your comments on his death? Yes, uh, uh, the comments uh, uh, pertaining to his death, uh, you know, it is very premature uh, for me to comment at this stage. But however, uh, I would like to uh, impress upon the uh, media reports, you know, they always uh, describe this case as a suicide. This is the most unfortunate thing apart from the death itself because uh, this is too early to say that it's a suicide accident or a homicide. It's only the investigations can prove uh, it's a suicide or an accident or a homicide. Sir, can you please explain the standard approach the police should adopt in investigations of this nature? See, in cases of this nature, the most important thing is uh, the investigator has to follow the standard operating procedures before uh, coming into a conclusion. Uh, because there should not be any prejudices in the investigation is concerned. So cases of uh, 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 death due to suspension, it is always very vital uh, that uh, the most important thing is the responsibility on the investigating officer wherein he has to analyze uh, all the aspects pertaining to this uh, death itself. The one is, uh, the most important thing is, the circumstances which led to this particular uh, death is to be the analyzed and it should be scientifically analyzed along, uh, apart from the uh, evidences. The standard operating procedures, it's clearly indicate you that the first and the foremost duty of the investigating officer is collect all the witnesses' statements, collect all the technical evidences like the CCTV, the, uh, even his mobile or his laptop or the computer and witness to whom it is he in acquaintance with or uh, in relationship with or whom did he speak to with, was he pressurized, was there is an any abatement to his suicide. See this is the most important aspect to rule out in case if it is a suicide. Beside this, the other very important thing was, was about the history pertaining to his past medical illness or any past uh, uh, consumption of any uh, substance abuse or uh, any uh, past history of any uh, treatment or any psychiatric history or he was uh, into treatment or the doctor who is treating him can uh, definitely will be of uh, more assistance or more helpful to the investigations. Apart from this is a financial uh, history we say and the social history we say, economic history and uh, all other uh, especially the relationship history means uh, or even this uh, family history we say so all this thing to be closely scrutinized and analyzed this will be the primary duty of the investigating officer sir how the post-mortem examination will help in the investigation uh, yes uh, of course uh, uh, the post-mortem examination definitely uh, one is uh, will be able to uh, uh, understand what exactly was the cause of death and apart from it, definitely can give a clue about the uh, possible manner of death and accident, suicide or the homicide based on the type of the luggage or mark uh, present on the neck of the person and uh, the uh, type of luggage or material used. Was there any fault or any associated injuries on the bodies which uh, can help to confirm the possibility of a homicide or an abatement to the suicide or at the same time this particular uh, in the post-mortem examination the toxicological analysis of the uh, blood and the uh, urine or even the viscera which is very helpful because that clearly gives a clue about the possible uh, ingestion of any drugs or uh, even it can corroborate the statement of the doctor that if he's the, for example if the doctor says that uh, he has been uh, under tree under his treatment and that particular medication was given and that uh, metabolites of those particular medication has to be present in the toxicological analysis that corroboration is very important and uh, uh, another most important uh, uh, thing is uh, the doctor who conducts the post-mortem should not keep the uh, uh, results pending, you know, that is something definitely it will be very hazardous or very dangerous to the investigation is concerned. So, however, in case of uh, pending toxicological report, he, he should be able to deliver the preliminary cause of death because uh, that will definitely help the investigating officer. So, however, the final cause of death can be given or the further opinion to the cause of death can be given 
if the toxicological reports is awaiting but the pending toxicological analysis should not be a deterrent to give the preliminary cause of death uh, that is the uh, advantage of the post mortem examination one is to rule out the injury the rule out the any disease process uh, and other pro other thing is to rule out any the toxicological evidences at the same time confirm the cause of the exact cause of death finally dr rao sir what are your comments see uh, only when all those evidences uh, are available as i uh, described before the technical evidences pertaining to the cctv or this mobile phone analysis and also the witness statements and also the past psychiatric history or any past ingestion of drugs or any social history or uh, any relationship crisis so all these things when all this uh, uh, outcome of those all those evidences and the investigations when those are available beside the post mortem examination results are available apart from the toxicological analysis report when all these things are made available to the investigation officer then only he can be able to uh, confirm that it's an accident suicide or a homicide dr rao sir what if it's a case of suicide then what the police need to investigate see uh, uh, most important thing is in case if it is a uh, been uh, uh, the outcome of all this investigation is appear to be uh, self suspension or so called suicide even in that case if it is a suicide the it is uh, a self motivated one or it is motivated by uh, the motivational uh, forces elsewhere that means an abatement is there that is the most important responsibility of the investigating officer to rule out the abatement of the suicide in case if it is a suicide the ruling out the abatement or finding out the factors which are responsible for suicide is the most important duty of the investigating officer dr rao sir what if the investigating police officer fails to adhere to the standard operating procedures in this case see any failure in any of those steps which i described or any failure on the part of the investigation officer to adhere to the standard operating procedures in investigating a case of suicide definitely that will lead to a mystery or a speculations and definitely that will be a disastrous to the investigation is concerned and i hope uh, the investigating officer will definitely uphold the standard operating procedures and uh, before he comes into a conclusion uh you will definitely consider all these factors and then only will arrive at the exact uh, manner of death so of course the cause of death will be confirmed by the uh, doctor who does the post mortem i am sure that the doctor who does the post mortem will also consider the toxicological analysis before he confirms the uh, exact cause of death and the contributing factors uh, Uh, pertaining to the cause of death also i hope this video has given all the information from the forensic expert dr dinesh rao about the standard approach in the investigation into the death of actor sushant rajput we also express our sincere condolences into the death of actor sushant rajput we will come back after all the investigation is completed for the final comments by the forensic expert till then goodbye please share the video and subscribe